Welcome to The Great Loop Aboard the Perch. I'm Kim Russo, the director of America's Great Loop Cruisers Association. This is our 25th day underway, and today we're going from Solomons, Maryland to Annapolis. We would include a fuel stop today. We had scoped out the most inexpensive fuel we could find. I won't say the cheapest because it was still not cheap, um, but we have a planned stop in Chesapeake City to take on some fuel today. A string of other looper boats left Solomon's just as we were preparing to leave. It was a calm, peaceful, bright sunny morning, so we were looking forward to a really lovely day of cruising on the Chesapeake as we departed Solomon's. We only had one night to stay there, but it was really fun to explore, and it's just a quintessential Chesapeake town that I highly recommend you visiting while you're on the loop. But here is the beginning of our trek for the day as we left Solomon's. One of the first things we came across of note was the Cove Point Lighthouse and just a pretty view. Uh, you were starting to see, see bigger hills and more terrain on the waterway. The other thing in this area is a natural gas filling station. So the harbor host in Solomons warned us that there may be a safety restriction around there. If there were boats actively filling there, there would be patrols. Um, and, and tugs assisting with that. Uh, very quiet, nothing going on there that morning. As I mentioned, we did plan a fuel stop in Chesapeake Beach. We found that that was about 40 or 50 cents cheaper per gallon than other places along the way. So when you are taking on hundreds of gallons of fuel, that is a pretty significant savings. What we didn't expect was that the pump was really, really slow, slow to the point that it actually took four hours to take on fuel. So we considered aborting that and just going with what we had taken on so far numerous times and just decided to adapt. So usually when we arrive at some place, I like to get off the boat, take kind of a fitness walk around. So I did that while we were waiting. Michael caught up on some work and did some boat projects. So we just adapted and accepted that we were going to get into Annapolis a lot later than we had planned. So thankfully, it would have been a short day without the four-hour fuel stop. So we still made it to Annapolis at a reasonable time. This is one of the most iconic lighthouses on Chesapeake Bay. It is the Thomas Point Shoal Lighthouse. It's a National Historic Landmark built in 1875. It's located 1.5 miles offshore at the mouth of the South River. And they actually offer tours of this leaving from Annapolis. That tour boat runs from June through mid-October and only six people at a time can tour, so you might want to get tickets for that ahead of time if it fits within your loop plans. As you approach Annapolis, there's a beautiful view of the city. You can see the Military Academy. You can see the State Capitol Dome there. And we did not stay in the heart of downtown Annapolis. We actually were kind of over the bridge from the heart of the city. And that was by design. I would be leaving the boat shortly after arriving in Annapolis to head out to Anacortes, Washington for Trawler Fest, and Michael would be working on boat projects. So fortunately, we have both visited and spent time in Annapolis before. It's certainly not to be missed on the Great Loop. For our Great Loop, it just wasn't meant to be that we would spend significant time there. But again, thankfully, we had done that before. So overall, we were underway for five hours, although this a log portion of the day was actually spent, stopped at our fuel stop. But that's our overall path. We went just under 50 miles, averaged about nine knots, and topped out at about 18. So that was our leg 25 from Solomons to Annapolis. Our next stop will take us from Annapolis to Delaware City as we finish up Chesapeake Bay and head towards New York. So we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.